are at Mascot Oval. The round three clash of the Lisa Fiola Cup. It's 4 0 to the Rabbitohs. And Bunnies TV has just arrived. We've been up filming the 16s boys in their win over Manly up at Narrabeen. So unfortunately, I couldn't be in two places at once. And, but we're here now. So let's see if we can move the fence. We've got a few, few of the family behind us here giving us commentary. Big run there, straight through the middle. Turn over. Okay, they've, they've just had a drinks break, the girls. It is hot here in Mascot. And I just had a look, Taylor Dower. Scored the try for the Rabbitohs, wearing the number 20 jersey. She scored in the fifth minute. And we got here shortly after that. So as I was pulling up, I could see the girls had just come back after scoring. So unfortunate, but like I said, it is what it is. Hopefully the New South Wales Rugby League will put that try up in their highlights and there's a penalty to South so a chance here now we are Bunnies TV so we just sort of focus on the Rabbitohs girls there's Kiara McGregor there the left footer she's going to kick for touch and she's got a good boot on her and it's just hit the hit the New South Wales Rugby League truck there, there that's where they filmed from there up on that platform So let's see what they can do here. So I'm going to change ends at half time each time. I'll be doing it for the, this Lisa Fiola 17s clash. And also I'll be doing it for the, the Tasha Gale girls. And we'll get all that game. All the highlights anyway. there the Rabbitohs and the crowd there will call on the girl's name but I'm riding solo today so didn't see the number there the boys so that makes it 8 0 with 11 minutes to go in this first half. And we're going to watch Kiara McGregor attempt this goal.
there she is. She's just behind the pack there. And kick this with the left foot. It's waved away. You heard the flags there. So the score remains. 8-0. to the Sassini Rabbitohs. pass there but we're having a crack spinning the ball and now the seagulls will get the ball and go on the attack running towards the city end oh and we've seen a little knock on in the play of the ball you can see she threw the ball away in disgust mm, well a let off there for our girls and it's a pretty good field position for us See what they can do here. And McGregor will feed the scrum, the South City number seven. I know a few of the girls here, but so she gets the ball, spins it out to the left. Here one duck it, I think there. And there's a penalty. Uh, here is a golden opportunity now. Holding down in the play the ball, I think it was. The ref just made that signal there. McGregor will boot this out and put him in a great position for a raid right in front of the Bunnies TV camera. Thanks very much. Hopefully we get a, a try under the post or something here. Next to the post right in front of us. <laughs> anyway. Lani there. Lani there in the blue headgear. Good run. There, Kira on Duckett. Mum sitting right behind me, I think. And it was a, a good bit of footy there from Young Kizzer, I think they call her. She caught the ball on the full. There you go. <laughs> and she caught the ball and had a little bit to do. And she scored the try for the Rabbitohs. And they haven't updated the scoreboard yet, but that's going to make a 12 blot. With a bit over five to go. And there we go, they've updated the scoreboard now. So, a nice three tries to nothing lead. And 
Kiara's yet to knock one over, but all that means is she's due because she she can kick him from wide out. I've seen her do that right here. Seven for the Lisa Fiola. She's played New South Wales CHS. She had rep on us. She struck it. And there you go. I told you she was due. I told you she could kick. And it's great to see a young lady that can strike the ball so sweetly like that. And that gives her team a 14 nil lead. So that means the Dragons are going to have to... The Dragons. So that means... So that means Manly are going to have to score three times to win. Kick off now. See if they can finish off this first half. there and we always like to get to get to the kick after points you know I've had long about that but we just want to oh, and we've got a penalty there so that's good that's as good as getting to your kick so we're gonna march down the field there but yeah get to the kick because it just drives the opposition into the ground there's nothing worse than you've given up a try next minute you're on your own line trying to run the ball out under pressure so you're just turning the screws on the opposition, and here we go now. There is three minutes left, so we'll only get one or two more goes for the Rabbitohs girls. I think that might be all they need. Long, nice, nice ball there. there. Got up and pushed, pushed the marker, which is a, you know, it's a silly thing to do. And it's cost her team a scoring opportunity there. Let's see if they can defend here. Two minutes to go. You can see the scoreboard in the background. 14 0 to the Rabbits. And yeah. on the ground, cleaned up there, yellow shirt in the way there, but it's all right, let me see what's going on, another ref involvement, seen a penalty there, so they've got a chance here mainly, he's going to call time off, which hasn't happened, <laughs> by the way. Oh, yes, it has. So now it's gone down to 50. I'd see, yeah. So now he's waved it on, but at six seconds, we'll never get back. Anyway. <laughs> Good run there. She's very hard to stop, that young lady. So just seconds before half time here. Manly are desperate for a try. South need to, to defend. You can see there's 35 seconds left in the shot there. Enough for him to. Do something. And another penalty. Oh, it's not going to do them much chop because that's just going to burn up about 10 seconds that they didn't want to use. 
They want to take a quick tap here, Manly, but they're not, they're not on board. Are they gonna, they're not going to kick for goal. No, they're not. They, they need points, and they've just had a hit up, and they probably needed to send it. Now, this is a, they've got to try and send it wide here, Manly, if they've got any chance. Yeah, dummy. That's what they're doing. Oh, long ball. And they've defended it well there. There it is. Beautiful. There's the whistle at half time in this Lisa Fiola Cup clash. Babado's 14. Manly now. Okay, so as the Rabbitohs girls come out for the second half in this Lisa Fiola Cup clash against the Sea Eagles, they've got a 14 0 half time lead. They haven't won a game yet, so this could be it. A tries in the fifth minute to Taylor Dower. Sienna Israel scored in the tenth minute. And Kirawan Duckett scored in the 14th minute. And Kiara McGregor converted that goal. So. Let's go, Rabbitohs. There's 30 minutes between them and winning this game. They've just got to hold this Seagulls team out. Play the footy they know how to play. The way coach Mick Daly's coached them. They'll get their first win. Off. It's just on the ground. Oh. Zoom there, straight through. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> Line break to start the second half. That's encouraging. Oh, but that isn't. <sighs> we didn't need that. We did not need that on second tackle. So we went from very good to very bad in the space of two tackles. field now. Manly to feed the scrum. Beats one, offloads. Right again, playing a bit of footy here, Manly. Pull down in the centre of the field. Huh. Sold me the dummy there. Picked it up. Just behind the post there. No injury there. I got to play on. again but it looks like South have taken the ball they have <laughs> on the inside Barney it's 
get some dummy off. Beautiful. Oh, sloppy play and Seagulls have got it. Crowd support there for that young lady. Oh, flag. Defense there. Defend their own line. A lot on their own line here. Turn it in the side again. That's where all the defenders were. Build it up the ref. Knocked down and they're away. Oh. Jeez, that would have been alright. Runaway try. Running into the camera. Oh, hey, well, we'll get that. We'll get it. It's a rabbit's ball, is it? No, it's Manly ball, so they're saying that South have knocked it down by the look of it. <laughs> That's exactly what's happened. So another chance here. It's 14 nil to South. Manly got the ball though, attacking the line, attacking the mascot end, the southern end of the ground. Uh, she's two, three, four, and she's still going, and she's dropped the ball, and Rabbits have got it. Yes, there's a let off. The big seagulls forward. She brushed off a couple of tackles and got her arms free, but the ball went to ground. And the bunnies have got the ball. Let's see what they can do now. Spread the ball out to the right there, and they're lucky to stay in, but it was a good bit of work. And back the other way now. Sarah McGregor takes on the line. Beautiful kick there. Just rolled it into the end goal. Rabbitohs girls chase through. You heard them say it. Hold her in the end goal. And that's exactly what they did. And now, they've got a line drop out. It's 14 nil, And there is just under 22 minutes left in this second half. Bad 
kick. Struck it quite well. Not a lot of distance though, so there's a chance. Howdy, good luck. the corner to the Rabbitohs. Great try there. Just good hands. And we've got two little ball boys here. There we go. No, it's just a bit short. So the score remains 18-0. Back to the action here. Uh, we've got the Lisa Fiola on screen. That was the, the Tasha Gale. So the 19s. And these are the 17s. We're marching down the field here again. Just be untouched here. So. That was the perfect set of six after points for the Rabbitohs. And yeah, that's just what the doctor ordered. Get the kick, set it before, put pressure on the opposition. So he's got the ball. Working it out from their own line. Hot day, they'll probably have a drinks break soon. chase too. So there you go. That's how you close out a game of footy when you've got the lead. Just get the basic stuff right. Kick long. Pin them down in their own half. And maybe they'll force an error or something. Set out of their own half. 
but they need points. Let's put the kick down. Let's get a kick too. It's, it's rolling around. It's found the turf. I think that's Churchill bringing it back. Cover those fullback. Passing around, there's a kick, straight downfield. Drinks break. Okay, so we're back. They've had a drinks break. He only got the penalty. And there is 12 minutes 30 to go. And the bunnies are up 18 nil. So they're gonna need to score more than a point a minute. The Sea Eagle Girls, the Silver Tails, as they used to be called. over the, the north side. Beautiful part of the world, Manly, I have to say. The beach there is magnificent. It's a great spot. Oh, great ball there, out to the left. Oh, and there's a tackle. And taken out to... Who was that? Duckett? Yes, it was. Good defence there from Kirwan. Saved the try and got possession back for a team. Beautiful, but you know, Manly had to chance their hand, and as the as the Manly Tasha Gal girls getting ready, warming up. You know, wouldn't have to do too much warming up in these conditions. It's friggin' hot here. We tell you, feels like it's at least plus thirty, but high twenties probably. Oh, there's an offload, and it's. Got away with it. The first tackle, so I'm not sure I'd have a go, these girls. Let's see if they've got some more points in them. I've got no doubt they have. Right up through the middle. Gregor. And the left. So they're going to spread it right here, I'd say. They're going to kick the last tackle. Put it down. Just to get the ball. Pass it out to the left. And there is a try to the Rabbitohs. Got a little fall there. Was the winger? I think. Can't see a number. Yeah, the number two there. And that is because I am trying to look. Is that Sienna Israel again? Anderson. So try to Lani Anderson there. And let's have a look at her. Where is she? So good try to Lani Anderson there, the number two. Just had to put herself in position to score. 
The kick went through. Seagulls fullback dropped the ball. It was picked up by Kirwan Duckett. And she found and she found her winger, Barney Anderson, who's a, a bit of a try scorer and whiz. She, she scored one down at Big Tree in round one. We're in the trial game, but yeah, good work, good winger's try there. Well done. Kiara for a shot at goal. They all started walking off, but she just, just didn't have enough legs there from McGregor. So, I think it's, we're looking like a win here. 22 nil, with just over eight minutes to go. Here at Mascot Oval, on Sunday, the 18th of February, 2024, this is the Lisa Fiola Cup. And we're gonna get on the board now. Two points to start their season to start to two points to start their season to start their campaign. And there might be some more points to come yet. Plenty of time left, eight minutes. A couple more possessions. And they're gonna get a penalty. So for a high tackle, was it? Just a quarter a bit high. And um, McGregor might kick this out, I think. She's looking at the sideline. Or they just take the tap. No, she's confident. Bit of a breeze taking the ball that way, I think. Uh, never in doubt. Oh. It's an asset. She's an asset to this team with that kicking game, let me tell you. All right, so. No. Girl just went up in there. It was a... Oh, they weren't ready. Okay. Take two. No, she didn't tap the ball. That's right. <laughs> okay. I didn't think she did. <laughs> anyway, let's go. More points for the bunnies. Penalty. More possession. This is what we want. The position right under the posts here at the northern end of Mascot Oval. And the Rabbitohs will have a full set to put something on. The vocal crowd here. Oh, the ball's been put down. Number 19 there, unfortunately. Tiara Rahute. Tiara. Hard luck there. It was a good run. Manly now. Let's see if they can get a try. Consolation try. have been thoroughly defeated here today by our girls. There's an offload. Drop ball. Yes. Well, you can't blame them. They did try to do their best and get the ball, but now the Rabbitohs. With four minutes, 40 left. We'll go on the attack. Now they lost in round one to Illawarra down there at Big Tree. They lost in round two to the Panthers and they were both pretty good sides. So the, this opposition may not have been as strong. So might play us in a bit of form here. Because they played well, they played some good footy. McGregor to beat the scrum. Back to blind. Oh, 
Kiss us in again. Caroline Duckett. A little simple short side raid. McGregor. A little bit of trickery there. Went it back to the blind. And when you got a attacking weapon like Caroline Duckett there. Just got to get her the ball in a bit of space. She ran a good line. And that is her second try for the game. And she scored about four this year. I think she scored in every game. I'll, I'll have to check that, but she definitely scored in round one and a couple here, but yeah. Good young player. Well done. And we've got another attempt out wide from She's just behind the camera where just behind the pack there. You see her through the through the back. She comes in and she struck that one pretty good and it's gone over. Beautiful kick. It was due, she's missed a couple, but she's got that one. There she through the pack. Number seven. We just gave her a wrap and said she's an asset to the team with the boot, and she just showed you why. Good goal kicker and good kicker in general play. All right, so a minute and a half to go, 90 seconds. Try and go the length of the field again, and they've just started it quite well. All right, so bunnies have dropped the ball. We give a manly a last chance to do something. We give their their fans something to cheer. We haven't been able to admit there's a penalty, but with 25 seconds to go, it's it's no good to them. They've taken the quick tap. Going left, spreading the ball. Half wish they would get a try, but not really. Let's keep them scoreless, the Rabbits. Keep the defence going. They've led enough tries in the last two games. So and there it is. Victory. For the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Lisa Fiola Cup Girls. And that's convincing too. 28 blots. I didn't look at the scoreboard last time. 28 points to nil. Beautiful work there. So that's a convincing win. Good for the for and against. And congratulations to our girls. Commiserations to the Seagulls. Wrap it up there and get ready for Natasha Gow. Round three clash against the same club, the Seagulls.